Today, we are talking rhodium, the fancy brother of the precious metals. Now, I'm sure you may have heard of rhodium before. It's the uberly, disgustingly, ugly, horrendously expensive metal, and yes, it is. And today, we're going to talk about it. What the hell is rhodium? Should I be plating my silver in rhodium? Should I be plating my white gold in rhodium? How much does it cost? What are the pros and cons? Talk to me, Gus. Let me know what the deal is. Well, stick around to the end. You're going to find out. Today, it's rhodium plating. Roll that intro music. <laughs> So what the hell is actual rhodium? If we're going to talk about it, let's first find out what it actually is. So rhodium on the periodic table is RH. It was first discovered in 1803 by William Hyde Wollaston, who's also the English chemist responsible for discovering palladium. For years, rhodium went relatively unscathed with no real use for decades. That is until the jewelry world caught whiff of its anti-corrosion properties and began to use it to rhodium plate jewelry that tarnished often like silver. Of course, the most popular use of rhodium was actually not in jewelry use. In 1976, Volvo introduced the three-way catalytic converter, where rhodium was used in the converter to reduce the amount of nitrogen oxide exhaust gases emitted into the atmosphere. Since then, it's been used in the automotive industry heavily, with car companies spending millions of dollars a year to manage demand. It's this insane demand for this incredibly rare metal that's the main culprit as to why rhodium is so freaking expensive. Because rhodium is so ridiculously hard to mine, and because car companies are such in high demand for it, it's quite literally made rhodium skyrocket. Back in 2021, rhodium climbed all the way up to $28,000 an ounce, which is legit mind blowing. Luckily, since then, it's now stabilized and it's trading around $4,800 an ounce, which is still pretty ridiculous. To put things into perspective, an ounce of gold, which of course is also a precious metal, currently trades at about $1,900 an ounce, making rhodium more than two and a half times more expensive. In short, rhodium is going to cost you a kidney, a liver, a firstborn child, a left arm, maybe some eyelashes, and all the jewelry your grandmother has stored up in that little box upstairs that you secretly pawn because you're an animal. How does rhodium help with jewelry? How do we jewelers use it to make your lives a lot easier? What are the uses of it? What are the pros and what are the cons? And should I be doing it? And should you be spending all this hard earned money, your hard earned money, all that paper money, all that drug money? <laughs> Here are the pros. Number one, and obviously the most obvious one is the fact that it has anti-corroding properties. So if you dip it in any of these other white base metals, such as silver or white gold, it's going to become a sealant. Now, silver, of course, is the finickiest of metals. It's a beautiful, beautiful metal, as I've said it many, many times before. However, it is very prone to tarnishing. What the heck is tarnishing? Tarnishing is silver reacting to sulfur in the air. It corrodes the silver, turns it black, and you get that really, really ugly tarnish in between your links or on top of the locks. Dipping your silver in rhodium essentially acts like a sealant, and it protects it from the air in the atmosphere, keeping it nice and shiny and beautiful and most looking brand new. Silver is one of those type of metals that you constantly have to buff or maybe even put into some sort of solution to bring out that shine again. Rhodium dipping silver is the surefire way of not having to do any of those things because again, it has those anti-corroding principles that people absolutely love when it comes to making jewelry. Of course, the second reason is the look. Silver itself has kind of a white, palish metallic look. When you dip it in rhodium, it gives it a different aesthetic altogether. It resembles white gold almost one-to-one -one, and the the shine of silver dipped in rhodium honestly is such a beautiful look. Number three and the final one, and it's honestly my favorite one, is the fact that it requires no maintenance on silver itself. Like I mentioned before and many times in my other videos, you have no idea how much maintenance silver requires. It's a base metal that after maybe two to three weeks of wear, maybe even after going to the gym, it'll begin to lose its shine. A lot of people don't like dealing with that. A lot of people don't like grabbing a rag and polishing it every single time. It's annoying. Trust me, I'm one of those people. I don't like doing that. 
So I grab my silver and I dip it in rhodium because I know that it's zero maintenance. I just wear it every once in a while. If it gets really, really ugly, I just run it through some fresh water and some soap and it's back to new again. It's honestly a no brainer. If you're giving this as a gift to someone and you don't really know that they're gonna take care of that jewelry, dip it in some rhodium. You know you're gonna be giving something that's gonna be headache free. I can't tell you how much time you're gonna save. And honestly, if you're one of those low maintenance guys, it's something that you definitely need to consider. The cons, and really there's only one con because it's the only one that really that matters is the price. And to dip either your white gold or your silver jewelry in it, cost a lot of money. There are so many people that tell me, hey Gus, I thought all your silver jewelry automatically came rhodium dipped. And I can't tell you how that can't be further from the truth. If all my silver jewelry automatically came dipped, I would have to charge you thousands of dollars for the simplest thing. Because quite literally, that's how much it costs. Say as an example, you order a 10 millimeter 24 in silver. That piece automatically is gonna be costing you anywhere from five to $600. But if you want to rhodium dip it, add an extra 285 to 350 just to plate it one time. If you find value in that because you don't have to do any maintenance, great. Other people may not necessarily mind doing a little maintenance on their pieces. And so you got to figure that out and see if it works for you or not. Just understand that it doesn't automatically come rhodium dipped if you're ordering a silver piece for most people. And also be aware of the people that say that they're rhodium dipping something and they're actually not. I've looked a lot on other people's websites on eBay and a lot of this stainless steel says with a rhodium wash and that's absolutely not rhodium. You're not paying an extra $30 for a rhodium chain on a big chain. That just doesn't even make sense. Make sure that when you're purchasing something that's silver or stainless steel washed or dipped in rhodium that it's actually true rhodium buy the jeweler make sure you trust them not the price of the actual piece and that's a gvj stamp baby now let's talk longevity that's going to depend on of course the acidity of your sweat how often you're using it no one can give you a real time frame and how long a rhodium dip is going to last on something silver or even white gold but on average, if you're never gonna take it off, say you ordered a 10 millimeter 24 inch chain, it's gonna last you anywhere from eight months to about a year and a half if you maintain it well. If not, if you're an animal and you're in Miami popping bottles in the club with a jet ski, you're banging it everywhere, you're looking at about three months monster. You just wasted your money. At the end of the day, like always, it's all subjective. It's gonna boil down to if you find value in rhodium dipping your silver or white gold jewelry. If you're a low maintenance guy and you can afford an extra couple hundred bucks, do it. If not, if you just like the look of silver, do that as well. Either way you go with is a perfectly good choice. As always, I hope you learned something from these videos because we put a lot of effort into them. Subscribe to the channel, share this with anyone you think would find value in this video. And if you are interested in buying either a silver or a silver dipped in rhodium, Miami Cuban link, or any other jewelry in general, visit gusvillajewelry.com, your source for Cuban link chains and silver dipped rhodium. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Holla.